Hi everyone, back to you again, Yaman Karaja with another video presenting a short introduction about the science of viruses, virology. Including this chapter, we'll talk about the definition of viruses, compare viruses sizes, structural classes of viruses, the principle of viral infection, lytic and lysogenic cycles, the pathogenesis in a human viral infection, the immune response to viral infection, and the antiviral drugs. So as a start, what are viruses? Viruses are non-living agents that infect all life forms, like plants, phages, and animal viruses. And by phages we mean bacteria. They are obligate intracellular parasites and can only be visualized by the electron microscope. No virus are able to produce its own energy to drive macromolecular synthesis. They either contain DNA or RNA. They contain a protein code called capsid that made up of capsosmeres. Nucleic acid plus capsid is called together nucleocapsid. Some viruses are enclosed by an envelope, so viruses can either be naked or enveloped. Some viruses have spikes made up of carbohydrates and protein. Most viruses are tissue specific. Let's now compare viruses sizes. As we can see here, the size of viruses are much more smaller than the red blood cell and also smaller than the bacterium E. coli. So, as we said before, viruses can only be seen with the electron microscope. Moving to the structural classes of viruses. There are three types of viruses according to the structure. Two are related to the animal viruses, icosahedral symmetry and helical symmetry. They can either be naked or enveloped. And the third one is related to the bacteria, which we call it a complex virus. According to what we have said now, you must keep in your mind that all helical viruses are enveloped and all naked viruses are icosahedral. Here are some examples of different structures of viruses. We can notice that the adenovirus is an unenveloped icosahedral virus, besides the tobacco virus that is also unenveloped but in a helical structure. Principle of Viral Infections all viruses package their genomes inside a particle that mediates transmission of the viral genome from host to host. The viral genome contains the information for initiating and completing an infectious cycle within a susceptible cell. An infectious cycle includes attachment and entry of the particle, uncoating, transcription and or translation of viral genome, replication and assembly and release of a particle containing the genome. As we can see here, there are five stages in the viral infection process. First, the attachment. The phage attaches to the surface of the host. Then the entry, the viral DNA enters the host. The replication, phage DNA replicates and phage proteins are made. Assembly, new phage particles are assembled. And finally, the release. The cell lyses, releasing the newly made phages. Back to you with the results of multiplication of bacteriophages. We have two cycles, the lytic cycle and the lysogenic cycle. For the lytic or virulent phage, the phage causes lysis and death of host cell. On the other hand, the lysogenic or temperate phage, the phage DNA incorporated in host DNA making a prophage. In other words, phage conversion. In this picture, we see the lytic cycle on the left and the lysogenic cycle on the right. The first and second steps are common in both cycles. Then the viral infection chooses one of the pathways to continue. But eventually, the virus must end in the lytic cycle. Moving to the pathogenetic steps in a human viral infection. The virus may enter through skin, mucous membranes, respiratory tract, GI tract, via transfusion, needle stick, or maternal fetal transmission. Local replication of virus at site of inoculation. 
Traveling of viruses can be as neurotropic agents that travel along nerve routes or reach CNS by viramic spread. For many agents, there is replication in regional lymph nodes with subsequent viremia and spread to target organs. Some travel free in plasma, example P. coronaviruses, and some are cell associated, example cytomegalovirus. Replication in target organs may lead to local damage and further viremia. Non specific and virus specific host immune responses come into play to downregulate viral replication. Talking about the immune response to viral infections, we have the non specific and specific immunity. The non specific immunity is accomplished by phagocytotic cells as the neutrophils and monocyte macrophages, the cytokines as interferons, the natural killer cells, and other antiviral factors. The specific immunity is accomplished by antigen specific P and T cell responses antibodies, cytotoxic T-cells, and ADCC. And last but not least, the antiviral drugs. The antiviral drugs work in three mechanisms. Attachment antagonists by blocking attachment molecule, as in neuraminidase inhibitors, inhibit uncoating by neutralizing acid environment, as in adamantane, inhibit DNA or RNA synthesis, as in ribavirin. As we reach the end of the video, I hope you all guys got a small idea about viruses and I advise you not to miss the next videos about DNA and RNA viruses containing great mnemonics to catch. Salam.